All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. It looks like we may have a couple people trickling in, but let's go ahead and get ourselves started. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kiana McClure. I am the co-chair of Project Vision. Usually I have Adam Sansick with me here today, my co-chair. He is unfortunately unable to be here today. So please let me know if I skip anything. Please no rotten tomatoes being thrown. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to do the introduction of first-time visitors. So if anyone is a first-time visitor to Project Vision, please stand and a microphone will be brought to you. And I'm staring down the gentleman in the blue shirt in the fourth row as we chatted before this started. <laughs> My name is Paul O'Brien. I am the new hud -Vash social worker in Rutland, helping with the homeless vets. Um, I'm going to be working the majority of the time on actually getting the voucher situated in the case management, but I will be working hand in hand with Carly Nichols, who's going to be doing the HCHV. So. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. And any other first time visitors who would like to introduce themselves? Thank you so much. Hi, my name's Rachel. Um, I'm working at Brock for, with the CJC and I'm the victim liaison. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. And anybody else who would like to be introduced? Anything like that? I see you walking up here, Rich. Do you want the microphone today? And I see the head shake. No. Noted, noted. Well, all right. Then let's go ahead. We're going to move right into Mayor Dungess's remarks. Good morning. Uh, I'll keep it brief this morning. Uh, two things. One, first of all, uh, I just want to share gratitude um, with you all. Yeah, um, Project Vision is pretty unique. Um, we have people show up here once a month to have discussions, have lunch, have good conversations, um, put together you know, everything from work plans to strategies. And then we go back out into the community and for a month we, we focus on our tasks, but in the back of our minds and in our email uh, with the listserv, we have these uh, fantastic interactions and we continue to help this community. And you know, it's interesting talking to what few other mayors are in the, uh, that exist in the state and with other city managers, other communities don't have this. And I recognize that this week, uh, just in a couple of conversations. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for showing up all the time uh, or as much as you can. I know there's a lot going on. I know we have a lot to do. But I just want to say thank you for being here and being a part of this and continuing to grow this community that supports community. That's a big deal. Uh, the second piece is in that support system for the community. We have posted the job, so I, I've mentioned it a couple times, but for those who haven't heard it, um, you know, in the effort to uh, find a transition and build a transition plan for those who are unhoused in Rutland, the Rutland community, uh, heavily here in Rutland City, uh, we've been working with the state to develop two things. One, a homeless transition plan and a homeless transition campus. Uh, the campus is, we're continuing our work with the Housing Authority and the Housing Trust and our other providers, um, but the plan piece uh, is moving forward pretty quickly. So with the grant from the state, we've posted the position for a homeless uh, transition uh, coordinator and director uh, type position. It is a short-term position. It's a 12 to 18 month position to kind of develop and establish a program uh, that we can then work with other providers uh, to take over and run. Um, that position has been posted. It is on the city website. Uh, I think we also have it on Indeed, or it will be on Indeed by the end of the day. If not, if you have anybody that you think would be a good fit, please uh, let my office know. Any questions? Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to introduce Chief Kilcullen for his remarks. Thanks, Kiana. Um, so many of you may know back in 1962, Congress passed a resolution uh, authorizing the president to declare May 15th police, uh, Peace Officers Memorial Day. Um, and really, the resolution did three things. One, pa uh, declared May 15th as Peace Officers Memorial Day. Um, authorized the president to declare the week within which the 15th falls as National Police Week. And also the third thing was to encourage local governments to host events honoring those officers killed in the line of duty. So this year, uh, National Police Week will be held next week um, and we'll have um, a number of uh, representatives from the department to uh, go escorting the Ebbinghausen family down to DC because Jessica will be honored this year. Um, her name will be engraved on the wall. 
And so the events down in D.C. this year will start, for us anyway, on Monday the 13th with a, a candlelight vigil um, in D.C. at the National Mall. Uh, Tuesday, there's, there are a number of seminars uh, to support uh, survivors. And uh, Wednesday, the, the, the actual memorial service, which is the 15th, will, will be held on Capitol grounds in D.C. So it's quite an event in D.C., really quite a series of events uh, all week. And so, as I said, we'll have about, um, I think about 12 of us going down to D.C., escorting the family down. So, um, and then coming back Thursday night uh, in time for some events Friday here locally, first at 10 o'clock on Friday morning, the 17th, at Justin Thomas Memorial Park, there'll be a dedication of Jessica's Corner. Now, you may have seen some of the equipment that uh, will go in the park. Uh, currently, there, there's a bench we have in the, in the lobby at the police station, and there's also a car um, that kids, if you've been up to the park before, that right now there is a car up there that kids sit in and then they bounce. And so the, the, um, the car that, that will, will, go, will go into the park uh, next Friday is a police car. Um, so it looks just like our police car, so it's kind of neat. Um, some of the other equipment, uh, there's, there's a poem, if you, if you remember um, Jess's service, it, for those who saw it or were there, uh, there was a poem that was read, and that, uh, that's engraved on some stone that'll be, that'll be at the park. And so it'll be, as I said, a dedication to Jessica, um, call it Jessica's Corner at Justin Thomas Memorial Park. So as I said, the, the, the 17th, 10 o'clock, um, Justin Thomas Memorial Park. Later that day at 4 o'clock outside City Hall, um, you may not have ever seen it, but the, we actually have a memorial um, outside City Hall, and it has the names of all our former um, employees who have passed, our former officers who have passed, um, their names are engraved on, on, a, on a, a stone there. And so Jessica's name will be, uh, we'll have a service that day. We do it every year, honoring those who have, uh, who have passed. Um, this year we'll be adding Jessica's name uh, to that. Um, in addition to uh, we had another retiree who had passed away over the course of the year. So that'll be 4 o'clock on the 17th. So those are the events that we've got planned um, on that particular day. As I said, the rest of the week will be in D.C. So but feel free. Um, hope you've got time to stop either uh, Friday morning at the park or Friday afternoon at City Hall. Um, normally, I kind of steal Matt's thunder and talk about uh, sort of where the community response team is at in terms of filling positions. But I, so I won't tell you that we've got one position filled uh, starting the 28th and that we've got another position that we've offered. Matt, Matt, Matt will do that in a minute here. So I won't steal his thunder today anyway. Um, but other than that, that's all I've got today. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much, Chief. And next, I would like to introduce Commander Prouty, Executive Director of Project Vision. So you might have heard a rumor. <laughs> anyway, okay, so uh, Vision Center update. Um, as many of you might know, uh, Kyle Dawson has uh, accepted a full-time position with the state, with DOC, probation and parole out of the Brattleboro office. And I believe he's currently at the Corrections Academy. Or if not, he's about ready to go. Anyway, so uh, the hour and 10 minute drive compared to the 10 minute drive he has now, I guess was a factor in that. So big loss for us, um, but he happened to do a great job with our intern Taylor, who um, has accepted a position with us and she'll be starting on the 28th. So we'll get Taylor up to speed, very excited about that. We also have a second CRS in background. We'll see how that pans out. Uh, also in the Vision Center, um, Bailey from Community Care Network, the SUD program, Substance Use Disorder, on Tuesdays is in the Vision Center and she's trying to get acquainted with the outreach care team and, uh, and the CRS's in that work. We've also added Teen Challenge, has uh, grabbed a cubicle uh, in the Vision Center, hoping to build that relationship. So pretty exciting, and Rachel did not happen to mention that she has a cubicle in the Vision Center during her introduction, but she does. Okay, well, maybe call you out. And uh, so what she does is she works with Nate and the, um, and the data that we have for people that are victims of crime where we don't have an investigative lead or a suspect, um, those cases are given to her so that she can connect with the, uh, the victims of those crimes and, and hopes to get maybe some compensation 
um, which is very nice. So um, I'll have some more stuff on the report out for community policing, but as far as the vision center, that's it. Oh, and it's very hot up there, and we apologize for that old building. Awesome. Um, now we're going to go ahead and roll into announcements, and I would like to go first. I would like to say thank you to the members of Project Vision, uh, Chris Call from the Volunteer Committee, myself, as well as a couple of community volunteers, for participating in Green Up Day last Saturday. Uh, Team Project Vision collected a total of eight bags of trash, and we won the Downtown Rutland Green Up Day Challenge. Because of that, those who were on our team did win free tickets to the Downtown Rutland Sip and Shop, which will be next week on Thursday. Very exciting. I wish I could have gotten everybody free tickets, but they only allowed me to get like six or seven, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, but I look forward to seeing a bunch of you there in downtown engaging and being a part of our community even more than we already are. Uh, but wanted to give that shout out. I would also like to give a shout out to Domino's Pizza for once again their charitable donation of pizzas for our lunch today. When we move into the networking section at the end, feel free to go ahead and have your pizza. Um, I do just ask if anyone does bring it into the sanctuary, you have a plate so that way we don't get any crumbs on the floor, keep clean up easy. Uh, and aside from that, I will open it up to announcements from other people. It looks like we've got our Vision Center announcement. So the floor is open and a microphone is circulating. Please stand if you have any announcements. Perfect, we've got one right over here. All right, Sarah Cosgrove, and I'm gonna be representing the Vermont Youth Council and um, the Rutland Youth Council. And our teen center, we are going to do a walk through on May 21st, four to seven o'clock. So we are inviting anyone to come down to 74 Merchants Row to do a walk through of our space. Um, we will be getting our Amazon products and all our um, stuff to furnish it. And um, we'd like to bring the community in to really see it and how do you start percolating some ideas that we can bring. Um, Police, we would love to have a presence of you to do a walk through there. The kids have really expressed an interest in, um, well, in getting Ernie there, but <laughs> um, getting the officers and forming relationships with you. They've mentioned the idea of us getting a closer basketball hoop, maybe in that Evelyn Street lot, to um, challenge you guys in basketball and to get that. So. Let's come together, support the teens. This is their voice, this is what they're wanting, and we're gonna keep pushing for it. So please come May 21st, four to seven, to check out the space and join one of the tours. Did I hit it all? All right. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Any other announcements today? If there are no other announcements, Oh, got one right over here. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, um, Bradford Psychiatric has now opened up for not only primary care, but also uh, mental health. So if anybody along with the substance use disorder um, treatments, so if anybody knows of anyone that's looking for care, we're open and available. Uh, 16 and up. Yep. Awesome, thank you. Looks like we've got another announcement over here. I almost forgot. Uh, Bowes Health Trust is uh, their next round or cycle of grants is coming up. So our letters of intent will be due on June 15th. If you need any application materials or you're interested, please check out the website. It's part of the hospital, rmc.org, Bowes Health Trust. Um, if you're a nonprofit organization and you're looking to address some of the priori priority areas identified from the community health needs assessment, this grant is for you. So if you have questions, please feel free to find me or go to the web for information. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I do have one more announcement. The Bowes Health Trust brought it to mind. I would like to let everyone know that this evening at Rutland County Pride, there will be a Rutland Young Professionals Mixer. Um, and that will be, I believe, from 6 p.m. 
to 8, 7 p.m., um, could be 5.30 to 7, but wanted to make sure uh, gave that announcement as Rutland County Pride did receive a Bowes Health Trust grant last year. I have an announcement, if I could. Absolutely. And I want to reiterate what Michael said, too, when he first started his message. I'm Mark Triller. I'm a volunteer with Adult Teen Challenge. We're down on West Street, 197 West Street. And I've only been coming here a few times. I've known about Project Vision for years. But I, too, see just a labor of love. These organizations, which there are many of you that I'm realizing and getting just little by little to get to know, and then to be part of the center, have an office presence there too. I thank you for that blessing as well. I wanted to tell you, you're familiar with the United Methodist Church at Strong's and Washington. They serve anywhere from 150, sometimes up to 200 meals out of there, Monday through Thursday. They allowed us a few weeks back to do a dinner there. And then we, you know, because they're not there on Fridays. So we're fortunate to do that. And what Adult Teen Challenge does when they do their dinners, the residents from both the ladies' campus and the men's campus, they come down and they share their testimonies. They share the hope that they have. And so the next time we do a dinner, I want to encourage you guys, come to the dinner. See what these men and women have to say. So we'll announce the next dinner. I don't know when it is, but it was great being down there. There's such a nice facility that the United, the United Methodist Church has. But we also have our presence down on West Street, which is small. And on a Wednesday or a Friday, if you want to come to lunch, um, the volunteers make a nice homemade meal. And once again, just to see what Adult Teen Challenge is all about, come to lunch on a Wednesday or a Friday down there. We're 12.30 to 1.30. And so you're invited there as well. But when we have a dinner, I encourage you, come to hear what the, these residents from the campuses from Adult Teen Challenge in Vermont have to say. So I share that with you. And I thank you. Thank you. All right. Any other announcements or updates? Perfect. We've got one right here in the front. I think we're forgetting to make mention of this Sunday, the 12th, is Mother's Day. And we need to be grateful for all of our mothers. Definitely. Thank you. That one gets some applause. Perfect. And one last announcement from me as it comes to mind. Um, the Dismiss House dinner auction will be May 25th. Uh, tickets are still on sale until tomorrow, so just to let people know if they would like to support Dismas House, everything they do, and have some really good food at the dinner auction, uh, tickets are on sale until tomorrow. Please come find me after the meeting if you have any questions on where to buy tickets. I have the link saved on my phone. Uh, other than that, we're going to go ahead and move into committee report outs. Um, I will go ahead and be spearheading the volunteer committee over here in the corner by the emergency exit. Community policing will be over here where Matt is underneath the heat pump. Um, we're going to put the health committee, where would you like to be, Jamie, out in the lobby again with the comfy couches. Health committee will be out with the comfy couches. Um, marketing was Kyle. Um, so if anyone has any interest in stepping into the marketing committee role, please come find me in the volunteer section. And I'm trying to think, oh, and the, unfortunately, the training and education committee will not be meeting today as Eric Pulver from, um, uh, from the Department of Health was unable to be here today. So let's go ahead and break off into those groups. If anyone has any questions, please come find myself or Matt. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming back in here. Um, I think we've got everyone back. Perfect. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to open up the floor for a positive or uplifting story. I'll just throw this out here again. Pro Team Project Vision participated in the Green Up Day Challenge last Saturday. We collected eight bags of trash. We were very lucky to win some tickets to the downtown Rutland Sip and Shop. The most interesting find of the day is we found a floppy disk in a parking lot. That, that's what I said. So that is my positive and uplifting. Oh. <laughs> My bad, it is currently in the hands of the Rutley County Solid Waste Department. Uh, but otherwise, we have a microphone circulating and the podium is open if anyone would like to get up and share. All right. Oh, oh, I will. Go ahead. Oh, hi. 
Okay, I'm gonna take one step back here. So my name's Catherine Jackie Bowski. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a public health nurse for the state of Vermont, right here in Rutland. And Sue, our immunization designee, and I have been doing equity-based vaccine clinics now for around a year. And I would say one of our favorite places we've been going is Companions of Wholeness. And I just wanna highlight that the activities that they have been doing there recently with our neighbors is very empowering. And we've found that that environment has just absolutely shifted. It's welcoming, it's warm, it's really exciting to be in there. Um, and I think that's a true sense of community we all look out for. So I just wanna highlight the incredible work of those new activities they're doing. And I recommend as joining our neighbors, popping in there for an hour, painting a rock with them, having a conversation, it can go a long way. And I've learned so, so much from them. So thank you. So recently I was uh, invited to a Rutland Young Professionals Gala because of my youth. Um, yeah, that's right. Well, I, <laughs> so I, uh, I guess I'm not able to vote in the RYP, but um, I do have a young professional that uh, has opened a business. But somebody in this room was like the gala queen. Is that what they called it, Kiana? The... Oh, Young Professional of the Year? Is that, yeah, that's it, not Gala Queen, I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, congratulations to Kiana for being the Rutland Young Professional of the Year. Yay. And our co-chair. It is an honor and a privilege to have won that award as well as serve here with all of you. We'll make a last call for any positive or uplifting stories. And I think with that, we close out for the afternoon. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's a gorgeous sunny day out. Please go enjoy yourself. I myself am a cyclist, so catch me on my bike later. <laughs>